So it looks like Jackie's already ready. Hi, girls. So these are our three chosen ones, which we're going to be milking for the rest of their lactation. We've weaned babies. Enya is the one right in the middle there that we've been milking all along. Milking the three of them results in about three liters a day. I'm curious to see whether the two that uh, had basically weaned their babies already will uh, start producing more as I kind of push them. But at the same time, I'm not really interested in milking all summer. <laughs> So basically what I've been doing so far is it's a mixture of our chicken food sprouted grains, which is, ow, you're on my foot. Blackwell sunflower seeds and wheat sprouted for a couple days, along with some alfalfa pellets. Uh, this seems to be working really, really well. Haven't worked in to see how much it is actually worth budget wise, uh, but for proof of concept this year, we're going to go with it and we'll do a little bit more research into some less expensive options for supplementing them on the stand. But watch this. I'm by myself today. No Christopher helping me. And watch how good these girls have gotten. Who's up first? Who's coming first? Hey, oh, and you're all on the wrong side. You're all on the wrong side. video uh, kind of talking about some of the changes that we really need to make to make this run a little bit smoother next year when I start doing more than three sheep but for now this is working just great well I just finished Freya and Jackie's already on the stand waiting for me to put some food in for her now she doesn't have horns so I have to be really really fast when I milk her because she can get her head back out of the stanchion uh, but it is pretty impressive that we're now less than a week in, and these girls have got it all figured out. Come on, Anya. You out. Anya, come on. Come on, Anya. That's a girl. Up you go. Come on, Anya. Come on, Anya. Not Freya. Don't! Terrible example. You just got thrown on the floor. We're gonna try this again So you can see this is where a problem is arising. I have any left to milk and I have trouble getting her on the stand because we are battling the other two who want more grain and Therefore are fighting everyone to be on the stand. So this is a dilemma that we have to solve for next year We're not worrying about it this year because we're in the throes of gardening season and there's so much other stuff going on I'm just doing what I can and I will get her on this stand without everybody else. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do it with the camera here because as you just saw, you ended up on the floor and I don't want to break anything. But I'm going to get any on this stand and then I'm going to bring you back and we're going to do a real-time milk of her. The one thing I will say that we're finding is compared to the goats, for example, not as much milk, but my goodness, it is so much faster. And with the goats, I couldn't have hand milked them. My hands would have been so sore. Um, and I even, again, forgot to wear my wrist brace today, but honestly, it is so much easier. I find than milking the goats granted, there's a little bit of training that has to go on where because sheep aren't as personable as the goats were, it seems like they've got to get into the routine. But as you can see, they've developed a routine, meaning they know that there's usually food in here in a little container. Hence why Jackie is standing here just waiting for me to, uh, put the food down. So I'm going to get any on the stand and then I'm going to bring you back and we're going to do a real time and show you just how long it takes to get the milk out of Enya. Up you go. Come on. Let's go Enya. Up. Jackie, no. Come on Enya. Up we go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on Jackie, out of the way. Up you go Enya. Up you go. Come on. Come on, Anya. I'll have to put your collar back on. 
Why is it that when I want to demonstrate something, it never goes well? Honestly, this usually is a far easier process. I'm not sure if it's because I have the camera at the end of the stall and they see it, but I'm not going to keep trying to film it because it's not working. <laughs> All right, so Enya is up and in, finally. I don't know what was going on there, but we need to develop a method to keep the other two out of the way so that we can keep working. Uh, anyways, we're going to milk. We are timing it and we're starting now. Hopefully I don't end up blocking too much. Not sure if you could actually hear the uh, stream, but boy, oh boy, she is a great milker. She has nice, this will sound really bad to say, but nice big teats, which are really easy to milk. But this would be the one advantage of uh, a you that's had babies a few times, I think. The other two, uh, Jackie and Freya, they're on their first time and first time having babies and therefore they still have little tiny teats which make a little bit more work for my hands but still work amazing as far as their attitudes and everything else for milking so far i've just quickly switched to the other one i will go back to the other one because she'll drop some more milk down by the end from Enya, we are getting not quite three cups morning and night so about a liter and a half a day she is producing a little bit better than the others, but the others had already started to wean their uh, babies. So that's why I'm curious as to whether they'll start to produce more as I uh, get going. But you can see, I can grab her whole teat and it still sticks out the bottom of my hand, which makes it so much easier from a milking perspective. Don't you knock that. I see you. The one thing I will say too is in the morning when they've been in the barn at night, I don't get as good a production as I would after they've been out in the pasture all day. So this isn't going to be a perfect example of what they produce, but I'm two minutes and 50 seconds in according to my clock and I wasn't milking that whole time and I've got one jar. That's one of those 500 ml jars. And then I have a seven or 250 here. It won't fill it because she doesn't have as much we are already on the downturn. We've been milking her now for a little over eight weeks, I think. And we're definitely starting to see uh, she's plateaued for sure. But when we get her out on fresh, oh, Jackie almost knocked you over. When we get her out on fresh pasture, she does kind of up again for a few days. So we're still gonna keep chugging along. Go back to the other one. Just about there. And as you can see, I'm not going to half fill this, to be honest. So that's it. So basically a little over two cups in the end once it's uh, frothed down a little bit. Um, not unhappy with that it's been uh, a good process and to be honest that took me what three and a half minutes and that times the three of them twice a day i'm not even investing half an hour into milking granted today was a bad example because i spent 
15 minutes trying to get them on the stand. That's what always happens. You're trying to impress for the show and uh, nobody wants to cooperate, but they want to get outside. They know I've fenced off some fresh grass for them, so they'll be happy with that. And tonight we'll come back and hopefully get a little bit more milk. But all in all, super, super, super impressed with my sheep this year and going to keep going with this. I think I have over 10 liters in the fridge today, so we are making feta cheese and I also need to make some more yogurt. It made amazing yogurt, amazing yogurt. Uh, so super thick, loved it. Uh, so all in all, yeah, can't, can't express how happy I am to actually be milking. This has been three years in the making. I've been saying since we started our Hickory Croft Farm YouTube channel that I want to milk the sheep. I want to prove that they are triple purpose and this year we're doing it. So stay tuned to see more of our adventures and see how we adapt our setup in order to make this all work just a little bit better.